broadcast as we are underway from Sun Bowl Stadium. Kick is going to go out through the end zone, so UAB is going to start from their own 25-yard line. That's Trayvon Hughes, the running back Warren Reddick's in motion. The give, nope, play action, and the throw is going to go off the hands of Reddick's incomplete. Spencer Brown in the backfield for the Blazers, and he's going to get the carry. He's out across the 25-yard line to the 30, now to the 35, and finally brought down at the 37-yard line. Early in the gun. And this time the give is going to go to Andre Wilson. And Andre Wilson out around the right edge is out to midfield. You got a penalty marker down, so we'll check the flag as it stands right now. Reset the formation there. And fake to Brown. And Erdley's in trouble, able to scramble out of it. And now he's got a blocker. And he's got green grass in front of him. He's going to step out at the 15-yard line. They are first and 10 inside the red zone. 15-yard line, the give goes to Spencer Brown, and Brown has nothing but grass in front of him. Touchdown Blazers as they get on the board first. Spencer Brown, who just had the carry to take him into uh, seventh on the all-time leading rushers list at UAB, comes up with the game's first touchdown, and UAB has a 6-0 lead. Here at UTEP with his dad, the head coach, of course, at UTEP, Dana Dimmel, as Loxley has the snap, and UAB bringing pressure. Loxley going to tuck it, and he is going to get dumped at his 25-yard line. A big-looking play there for uh, UAB. Trips to the top of your screen. Loxley looking that way. Now it's going to set up the screen to Trayvon Hughes, and he's got nowhere to go. Garrett Marino was right there as soon as Hughes caught the football, and he's dumped for a loss. Cerro in motion. UAB rushes four. Trayvon Hughes on the carry. He's going to Come up with four yards, tackled at his own 20-yard line. A good season when it comes to their linebackers, A.J. Hodgkins, Jamar Smith, and Sione Tupo all have played well. As the pass there is a completion, it's going to be a first down. Erdley able to get rid of the football on a good-looking pickup. First quarter, UAB looking to get out to an early lead. UTEP showing pressure. They do bring pressure in the give, and it's a gaping hole pickup of 11 for Street. Takes it out across midfield. Spencer Brown and Jerrion Street to run through. Play action. And get it out across. Nice looking move there. And Hodgkins is going to recover and make the tackle along with Jamar Smith. Pick up a four on the play. Johnston in at quarterback. So early hurt on that uh, the play before. I mean, close to a first down on the give to Street. It looks like he may have it. Street shifts to Erdley's right. Read option, the give's going to go to Street, and Street gets out to the 20-yard line, so just picking up some yards and, and have a essentially a chip shot field goal. For two on the season in between 30 and 39 yards, so kick is up. Right down the middle. It is good. So UAB has a two-score lead with two minutes to play in the uh, first quarter. Loxley's in the gun. He's got two receivers to the top of your screen. Keenan Foster in motion, and he's going to get the carry on the jet sweep, and he's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, making that play in the backfield is Thomas, and it's going to be a loss of five on the play. Things you're going to have to do against a very solid defense is not everything's going to be pretty, but when you have an opportunity to make a guy miss and pick up a few extra yards, you got to roll with it. Loxley's going to keep it himself, and he has the first down. He definitely have been efficient with those all season. They bring five, Loxley getting the ball out of his hand, and Keenan Foster just couldn't get his head around and locate the football. Ridley back to pass, has the completion. That's going to be right at the sticks. It'll depend on the mark. The completion going there to Andre Wilson. I think he does have enough for the first down. Nick Needham on the coverage. Erdley is going to give it. Nope. Has the uh, completion out there to Donnie Lee. Donnie Lee able to cut back and break a couple tackles, and he's into UTEP territory. Stay, have the UTEP defense stay on their heels. Erdley this time is going to throw it out to... Looks like Lee again. His defense has got to pull up and make a play. Lucius Stanley is the running back, and he's going to get the completion there on the swing pass, able to stay in bounds, and then it's popped. And out of bounds by Sione Tupo, and Tupo is going to be flagged. Confusing as an offense for a defense. Erdley in the gun. Stanley to his left. He's going to throw it. He's got Stanley in the flat, and he just flat out missed him. Takes aim. And the kick is going to be blocked by UTEP. 
UTEP coming up with a huge stop. Didn't see quite who got the hand on it. But this UTEP defense, I think it was Denzel Chukukelu. goes to Josh Weeks and Josh Weeks has a big gain for UTEP and a first down under center on this one and it's going to be a reverse to Keenan Foster. Foster has nowhere to go and he's going to lose six or seven on the play and then a late flag coming in. Terry Janelle in motion. Fake is to him setting up the screen to Quadres Wadley. Wadley just can't get a block. Yasala uh, Bijan Hosseini out there. and Looks like Kyle Oxley's down hurt on the field. He didn't take too long to try and make a splash and coming in the game. Oxley this time is going to get it out to Keenan Foster. Foster trying to pick up a block and couldn't find one. 165 yards of offense and they have the ball in their hands right now with a wide open run. Brown with the carry again. He has six and another Blazers first down. This UAB team, they've got so many guys who can carry the ball and Get the ball up the field. Brown has the carry again, and he's got big holes spinning out of a tackle, and he's able to uh, cross the 30-yard line on that carry. UTEP crowd starting to come to life here. A third and 13. Erdley's back to pass, setting up the screen. Brown has it. Brown able to make Tufo miss, now making another man miss, and able to uh, make the tackle on the play was Nick Needham coming up from his corner position. And uh, Let's see what they can do. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Jones gives to Fields, and Fields is met in the backfield. Trying to get a score before the end of the half. Jones has a snap, going to roll to his right. It's a design run out across the 20, and he's going to have a first down at the 29-yard line. A design run there for Brandon Jones, and Jones with a host of blockers in front of him picks up the first down. Delay a game penalty this time able to get it off and the give goes to Quadros Wadley. Wadley makes a move. He's out across the 35 yard line and muscles his way to the 40 yard line. Good looking cut back there for Wadley as he's able to pick up 11. Jones has a snap and it's going to be a draw play and Fields is met in the backfield by Anthony Rush. Rush lighting up Fields. He was all over that play and all over fields for that matter. Due to 10 seconds and Jones is going to call his own number out across the 40 yard line and not much after that. Change the momentum going into halftime and give UTEP a break so keep the ball on the ground, run the ball, see if you get a breakout run but looks like they'll get a first down here but just possibly let this clock run out before the end of the half. Jones play action, pressure on and he's going to be flushed out of the pocket. Now he's going to pull it and he's going to be dumped. Penalty flag comes out here in the backfield. They rush just three though. And Jones is going to tuck it. And he is met right at the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go as Chris Mole makes the tackle and UTEP goes three and out on their opening possession of the second half. Mitchell Crawford able to Get it away is the kick. He's going to be fielded inside the 35 yard line and going to come up with a uh, nice looking return that was Starling Thomas out across UTEP territory and tackled finally at the uh, 40 yard line. UTEP showing pressure. They do. They bring six. Erdley has the completion out to Colin Lisa. And Lisa has another Blazers first down. The offense trying to get in the end zone on their first possession of the second half for Erdley. Gives it to Brown. Brown out across the 10, putting his shoulder down and taking it inside the five. And goal now for UAB at the one yard line. Erdley has the snap. The give is going to go to Brown. Brown putting his head down, reaching across the goal line. Is he in? No signal yet. And he's going to be marked just short of the goal line. That's Donnie Lee lining up to Erdley's left. The snap and the give goes to Brown. Brown leaving his feet. He's stopped in the backfield. How about that? It's UTEP defense coming up with a stop. It was A.J. Hodgkins who met him midair. And on that stop as well for that UTEP defense. There you see defensive coordinator Mike Cox. He's the guy to like the way that uh, that one went down. The give is going to go to Wadley and the ball is loose in the end zone. Jones is on it in his own end zone and just when you have something good happen for the Miners it's met by a 
play on the back end that uh, is going to cost them two points. The safety coming there, and UTEP now up 12 to nothing. Then having their way with this UTEP defense is the give. Goes to Jer Jerry and Street. We still have quite a bit of time left here in the third quarter. You see the pump flake and the pass is going to be picked off by Nick Needham. UTEP's all-time leader in pass breakups. Doesn't come up with a pass breakup there. He ends up coming up with the interception and the game's first turnover. With Brandon Jones in the gun. And the give is going to go to Trayvon Hughes. And Hughes is met in the backfield with nowhere to go. That is Chris Woolbright making the play in the backfield. Keenan Foster in motion. Jones trying to set up the screen. He's got it to Trayvon Hughes. Hughes trying to follow his blockers and does out across the 30-yard line. And that'll be close to a first down. The give goes to Hughes. Hughes trying to muscle his way across and he's in the going to lose a yard and it's going to bring up fourth down. And you're down 12 nothing. Be a pretty long field goal. I expect the UTEP offense to stay on the field. And now you got a penalty marker at the end of this play. They rush just three. Early going to roll to his right. Chuku Kalu on the rush ball is batted up in the air and it's going to be is it intercepted? No. It ended up being a loss of one on the play, so second and 11. Jones has the dig route to Reddix, and Reddix breaks the tackle. Here we go. Reddix, maybe a yard or two away from breaking that one loose. Nonetheless, he has a UTEP first down. They don't beat themselves, keep the ball moving forward. Max protection there for UTEP as Jones throws it out, and Terry Janelle can't come up with the, uh, with the catch. Personal foul. Hands to the face, defense number 99. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Jones rolling to his right, looking down the field, going to take a shot, and he has the completion to Terry Janelle. Jerry, Terry Janelle doing a nice job, kind of dog leg in the sideline right there. Top of the screen, looking to his right now, back to the left. Now he's going to try and tuck it and run. He's in trouble and going to go down for the sack. It's Dijon Turner chance to put it in and let's see if he can repeat 41 yards out Crawford on the hole kick is down and there you got it in the first quarter and he's gonna get the toss play here able to cut it back and now you got a penalty marker down two penalty markers down both in the same area so we'll check the penalty third and 15 facing this UAB offense and it's a draw play A.J. Erdley calling his own number out across the 30, down at the 35-yard line, and that is enough for a first down. And now you got another third down. Johnston back to pass. UTEP rushes three. Johnston looking across. the Bosi unable to come up with it as Kahani Smith laying the lumber there, able to break up the play. Looks like David Lucero. Jones has the snap looking right. Now going to tuck the ball, able to Spin out of a couple tackles, and then he's met by Fitz. Mofor right back at the line of scrimmage again. Nope, make that a loss of two. So third and 12 for Brandon Jones. Jones looking down the field, nobody open. Tucks it again and hit hard on the play there by Chris Mole. Inside 11 minutes to play. Johnson is going to give the football off and... Looks to be a pickup of four on the play. International is beating Western Kentucky 28 to nine. Toss play is gonna go to Brown. Brown trying to string it outside, nowhere to go is Sione Tufo, along with Kahani Smith in on the tackle. Has the snap, UTEP rushes three. Throw's gonna go outside and a great diving catch there made by Xavier Ubosi. And that's going to be enough for a Blazers first down. Defense around and pick up what you need to get the first down. Another big third down here is Johnston calls his own number. He's got the first down and more. Tackled at the 22-yard line for A.J. Hodgkins. Johnston's going to give it to Spencer Brown. Brown's going to bounce it outside. He's out across the 15-yard line and pushed out of bounds by Nick Needham. But that'll be another... First down carry on first down. Spencer Brown in motion. Johnston's going to keep it. Johnston trying to bounce it out five. Now he's bowling his way into the end zone for a UAB touchdown. Tyler Johnston, the redshirt freshman, 
has himself a rushing touchdown to cap off the drive. That'll be a great feat for them to achieve. Jones going to throw the football, has the completion to Warren Reddix. Reddix tackled at the 35-yard line right at the sticks. Inside of five on the play clock, Jones able to get the snap off and once again looking to run. And is able to pick up three or four on the play, but it's going to bring up a uh, fourth down. In the East Division, it's Florida International who's controlled that one, as well as Middle Tennessee, and UAB is going to see Middle Tennessee later on in the uh, year. And then if you're uh, UTEP on the other end of that spectrum. You'd hope that they can do something going into Rice next week. And both of the teams have had plenty of struggles for themselves. And, you know, here we are, UTEP going 0-8 on the season.